Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will be discussing about the operation types of warehouse in Uru is 17. So warehouse operations are the behind the scenes activities that keeps the business running smoothly and they encompasses on everything from receiving and storing uh, goods to picking, packing and shipping them out to the customers and this creates an efficient warehouse operations in essential of meeting customers demand reducing the cost and maintaining a competitive edge so let's see how this operation is done in o 2 17 inventory for that you can just dive into the inventory module under the configuration menu we can find a section called warehouse management where we can just manage with the operation type so currently you can find the operation types as receipts for managing the receiving of the goods in the warehouses internal transfers that just manage the or transfer of the goods within the warehouses and delivery orders just manage with the um or is an operation type that just manage with the outgoing of the item from the warehouse so moreover we can also get different operation types such as pos orders picking packing and all so if you want to manage more um operation types you can just move on to the configuration and under warehouses you can find that we can just uh, change the shipments that is based on uh, um, two steps or three steps. Either you can just manage the incoming shipment or out outgoing shipment in one step, two step and three step. So upon the enablement of uh, two steps or three step, you can just also manage with uh, the picking of the item as well as packing of the item. So currently we are just going to receive the item and deliver the item in one step. So, and we'll be only discussing about these operations that you can just find in the inventory overview. Now, let's move on to the configuration and let's consider the operation types over here and let's choose the delivery orders. And it's possible to change the name of the delivery operations or the operation type. So, if you want to just make any changes in the name, you can just edit it as and set. But currently, I'm not doing anything because this is the appropriate or app name for the delivery. I mean, the delivery operation as we are just delivering the item uh, upon the customer demand we can just set the type of operation as delivery and it has got a reference sequence of your company sequence out this is because uh, uh, here we will be performing an outward transfer which means the um, item will be moving out of our warehouse so we can just set the reference sequence likewise and you can also use a sequence prefix over here as we are just taking the product from our warehouse and just moving to the customer's side. And if you want to just print the labels, you can just enable that field and uh, under the barcode, you can just make the barcode for these operation types, which makes your um, process more seamless and efficient without just diving into the barcode app. And here you can also find the reservation method. Basically, the reservation method is on how the product have to be reserved and do have your eyes on that video. And currently, we won't be discussing the reservation method in this video. And later on, if you want to just um, use the lottery serial number, you can also just manage the lottery serial number for your operation types. Currently, I'll be using the existing... Uh, a one over here and and that's it and uh you can also find the other one that is the receipts and same as that of the delivery orders it the only difference is that if you want to just keep the stock in your warehouse you have to just go with it uh receipts operation okay and while receiving the item to our stock we have to create a new load number so you can just enable that now let's see how can we just manage with these operations. So for that, you can just dive into the purchase module. Now let's create an order over here uh, with the vendor as uh, let's show someone new. La. We can just say that Jimny Furniture and we can just use the product as corner desk. And you can set the quantity over here. Later on, let's click on confirm order. And we haven't received the item yet to our stock. So under the receipts, you can see the reference number over here. And this in its 
um, use range reference number as we just set a prefix over here as in. And now we just need to receive the item into our stock. Now let's move on to the inventory module. And under the inventory overview here, you can see there are six lead frozen. Now let's choose that. And here you can see uh, there are six operations in its ready state. And now let's choose the one that we are dealing with. And upon the validation of this process, you can see that, uh, oh, we have to separate the lot or serial number over here. So let's set the load number 101 and let's save this. And now we can just validate this. And upon the validation, we have received the item from the vendor to our destination, which is the WH stock. Now, here, a reception of the item is uh, just dead. Now, let's deliver this item. So let's move on to the sales module. In the sales module, you can just create a new order. So our customer is Azure Interior, my all-time favorite customer. Now let's choose the product. So the product is Corner Desk Writes It, where you can see the quantity is updated over here. Now let's confirm the order. We have just confirmed the order, but we haven't delivered the item. So here we have to perform a delivery operation. And you can see that the reference number with the um, suffix over here. And yeah, now let's move on to the inventory. And under the inventory, you can see that there are 13 lead operations and you can choose the one that we are dealing with. Now, let me choose that. And you can just click on validate button. So upon the validation, you can see that the product will be moving from the warehouse to the delivery address that is of Azure Interior. But as you just click on validate button, you can, cannot process this because you haven't set the proper um, load number or serial number. So let's try if we can just deliver the item without the load number or not. Let's click on validate. And here you can see that uh, we can just confirm this. But there exists an invalid operation because we haven't provided the load number or serial number. So let's move on here and let's set uh, the load number or serial number. But you can just go to this uh, section and choose the serial number. Now you can just use the existing serial number. Well, we have set that and you can just click on validate button. And upon the confirmation of the SMS, you can see that we have just validated with this process. So it's very easy and uh, simple to manage the um, operation types in Odoos 17 inventory modules. I hope this video clarifies what are operation types in Odoo inventory management. And if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, Feel free to contact Cyprosis as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.